Professor Vasudevan, whom I'm delighted to have because you're called India's plastic man with solutions to, to you know, to what we're going to do with plastics. Sir. Problems. <laughs> you got solution for all our problems. All our plastic problems, I have the solution. Now, so, after eight hours, you've come here. You should have come here early in the morning nah, and told us. Years, you've we won't have spent eight hours here talking yeah, I can, about I can, it. I heard about all those things. What I need is, uh, the, what you have only 10% of what I need. In the whole of India, the amount of plastic available is so less. We can use all the plastics and we can get a wonderful product. I brought some products also here. We have developed uh, uh, toilets using 10, mere 10,000 rupees. You get a wonderful toilet and portable toilet. Plastic is so much useful and I say it's a permanent. I, yeah, I was just about to say, let's just show people that some of the work that you've done. Let's just show people uh, the, the sort of ideas that you have and what we can do with plastic. Seventy-two-year-old Raja Gupalan Vasudevan believes that one person's waste is the other's treasure. And while many world over are making failed attempts at banning the use of plastic, Mr. Vasudevan, a dean at the Thyagarajan College of Engineering in Madurai, is busy building roads using plastic as the raw material. The plastic dissolved between I took, mixed with the stones, and made it a small block. And the mixture was used, that was you know, I'm going to use a road line. You can take the mix and there's a test for that. And you do the test. If it withstands thousand kg load, it can be used for road. My mix withstood 2,500 kg. Mr. Vasudevan proudly walks us through a road in his college campus, his first experiment with plastic for road lane in 2002, on the advice of the much-loved ex-president of India, APJ Abdul Kalam. And today, his patent technology has been used for testing roads in over 15 districts across India. Like this road in Kerala's rural Thiruvananthapuram. This road was constructed during September 2016. Well, uh, the Kerala Highway Research Institute uh, is monitoring the performance of this road uh, which is constructed last year and if it is satisfactory the use of plastics will be extended to uh, more roads also. These roads are converted into plastic road. The amount of plastic required is not like than 1000 lakhs road, kilometer, 1000 lakh tons. India doesn't have enough plastic. The waste plastic, as per the uh, Central Pollution Control Board, is around only 3 lakh tons only. Therefore, all the plastic available can be used for road laying. It's not just roads. He's used plastic and stones to make plasto, a cheaper option for construction. And his next target is e-waste. The, the constraint for me is only manpower and money. If money is available, I can employ more people in this right, and we can make this to do all the work. I can give a lot of work. If, if this situation continues, in 2050, India will be a dump yard only. So, Amitri, we've been we spent now nine or nine hours or thereabouts, maybe more actually, closer to, to, to yeah, nine hours, uh, are figuring out what we can do with the plastic. Now, he says if we can get him all the plastic that is being generated, he can convert it all to roads. And while, while we were seeing this film, this lovely young lady was saying, that doesn't mean you don't have to keep creating plastic, just because you want to use it for making roads. Just because we can make roads with correct, plastic correct. doesn't mean See, we the, keep this producing Road making plastic. is a very simple technique. Already what they do is, they take the stone, heat it, and mix uh, bitumen, lay the road. What I do is, I take this plastic, See here, all the waste plastics are here, shed it into small pieces, and on heated stone, I add this, it gets coated, the stone is laminated. Now add the bitumen, the road becomes very strong. We have laid the road since 2002, even today the road, there is no pothole. After even 10, 15 years, no pothole, no crack has been formed. And one kilometer road, single lane, I need one ton, one ton of plastic, that means 10 lakhs carry back. India has got 41 uh, lakhs uh, kilometers of road. 
what we need is more than 100 lakh tons of plastic which is not available in India. All the plastics available, waste plastic can be effectively used on the road. And the road becomes very good. The only problem Sir? is the contractors, because the road are very strong, they are not able to lay very often. So we have laid but since... So what, what quality of plastic has to get to you? So I'm, I'm actually more concerned plastic. about the recycling. All waste uh, over, carry, over carry bags, over uh, bags up to thickness of 80 mm, over chocolate cover, over biscuit cover, panpara cover, kurkure cover, all multi-life frames. You don't have any recycling technique for them. It can be used only in road because and that road seems to be a very good plastic. material. And all these uh, kurkure material, they give a better road than the uh, virgin plastic. So all waste plastic films can very well be used, no problem at all. And okay. uh, even the marine plastic, I have, I have recently been in Indonesia. The, the, the marine plastic very well can be used. We need not go. When there is a demand, now the kilo per kilo, it costs about 30 rupees, the shredded plastic. The rack pickers make a lot of money out of it also. Therefore, okay. there is no... So, you get a good income. And Tamil Nadu, they have a uh, self-help group. People are there. They collect and then try to shed it and give it to the contractors. You have already laid more than one lakh kilometers in India. Okay. Level states are implementing this technology now.